Hello guys, this is 99 Camry and I'm changing the lower suspension or rear suspension you can say so they have a problem with the little you know the back shake so this is how we used to do it sorry it's in the middle but still it's, you can get it so so these are arms which is fitted like that uh, we have to open with 19 millimeter and this is also 19 millimeter and that's the tail arms which is I took like over here these bushings are good normally and for that thing you have to change for that thing we have to remove the main frame on the back that's why it's come on lower because over here if you see this bolt which is from here to here a straight bolt and it's touch on the fuel tank so normally either you have to take fuel pump lower or this this is much easier to lower subframe we lower down and that's on other hand that is actually the plate to save the so for lower the frame we have to open this thing or we have to remove exhaust manifold uh, sorry ex manifold uh, the exhaust muffler uh, pipe or and let's see what else we have to do so we have to remove this and because we have to lower down so we have to need to little make a space four or five inch so we have to remove this thing and possibly we have to remove shock uh, bolts to get it low down that's how we can take it out everything out and but i'm not going to do that much now I'm just going to make it a little leverage and that's how let's make a little leverage and I'll take it out the bolts and chain the backward arms or what is called tail arms tail arms are there but that's the balancing of arms and everything so hopefully I'll update you within a few minutes and that's it hopefully that is what we have to do that's it okay I'll update you okay so as was planned to take it out this and here's the two bolts 12 millimeter this is the one this is two bolts take it out and before taking out this thing I was expecting that will become low and it will be easy to take it out this lower frame but the problem is look I actually used a bar to balance the car so right now I have to go on plan 2 normally in your situation might be not required but for me i have to go for plan two so normally it's, it has to be come down a little bit and i have a leverage to take it out these bolts so still i'm stuck because this hose is not able to go down because it's touching over here now let's see and I'll update further on what should I do okay worst scenario I have to take it out because this is the bolt complete bolt so I was thinking that is not over here but it's completely bolt so that's a seize over here so I have to do use a press heater whatever it is but the thing is that that's a some what do you call a spindle 
and you don't have to remove the brake lines everything you just have to take it out 22 millimeter 14 millimeters four bolts and push the plate out and everything is still intact so we just have to free that bowl and good to go and same on other side have to take it out uh, everything and same like this so I'll upgrade you further on okay okay plan B works because I just removed that two bolts 12 millimeter and remove that bar so the exhaust pipe comes down and I have more leverage now so I have good space to take it out that bolts now problem starts over here because I cannot able to lose this bolt so maybe I have to take it out four bolts tires drum and the hub I have to take it out and just take it out down this thing so make it loose but maybe in your situation you don't have to so if if it's possible if it's like same situation so we have to remove that two bolts lose the shock take it out the tire drum and uh, main hub we don't have to remove the brake system so brake system will be stay over here so just remove that four bolts I think that will be 14 millimeter that uh, will be 22 millimeter and lug nuts and tire and entire suspension will be able to move because I'll take it out this bolt so everything will become out same on this side uh, before that I'll try again to lose it somehow and the last one is to open that which is still near to the tank you can see over here although there is a space but I cannot use impact anything so I hopefully it will open otherwise it will be more difficult so that what I am doing it right now so I didn't remove that one so it's just hang little bit down so it's good hopefully you don't get that situation if you got then you have to go for maximum ideas and take it out I'll update okay guys I'm fixing back I cannot able to remove that bolt basically it's a bolt not in, not a nut so it's like I already show you again that's if it's here's the nut and it's complete bolt so other end normally whenever you turn it on open it come out like that one little hard work and it come out but in this scenario it sees completely it's just like a weld but it's not weld so I have to fix it back everything and so this is how what we are doing so I'm fixing back everything this side is almost complete so I changed the stabilizer bar or you can say balance rod linkage over here it says stabilizer bar linkage so it doesn't matter I changed the tail arm front arm back arm I couldn't change it because it's bold is stuck so I couldn't take it out tried everything even press heat everything penetrating oil everything I did it but it's not moving so so I didn't try on that side because it's the same stuff so hopefully I'll manage to buy a bolt very soon and then I have to tear down again and not that much so I have, maybe I'll take it out the hubs and uh, tire and change the spindle or knuckle with the new bolt that will be much easier 
because that's both of them are totally seas so let's see and uh, wait for next video I'll until I'll finish that thing and I'll be in touch with you guys tell you the what is the result although I know one arm will not make a problem because I'm changing both of them main both so let's see I love great